Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. Our special today is tacos. Maybe when you're better at crafting, I'll take a selfie with you. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Let's start with a staple, the burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. This here shows how much food you need to fill up that tortilla. Now to just put it all together. Well done, kid. Let's dig in. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell? Have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Got some new stuff today. Get it while it's hot so you can eat it cold later. Stay safe out there, superhero. Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history with a selfie. Okay, let's never do that again. And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out! financial system is in flames. <laughs> New kid, call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. Fuck. You. Mom. Ah, new kid. Come, take a seat. All right, well. How's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. Psychic. Elementalist. An elementalist. So if it rains on me, it's your fault. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. 
You walk to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. You had to stop these thugs in their traps. You started by entrapping the biggest in an ice prison. <laughs> Ensnared by the cold, the intruder could only watch as it turned past him back. Hey, you can't just take a man's turn like that. Yeah, who do you think you are, kid? The intruders approached you. Though little did they know, they had set themselves up perfectly for a sand trap. I think this kid has some kind of power over ice and earth. Impossible! You took the opportunity to heal and focus your powers. I think I'll move over here. Oh man, I finally get a whack this damn kid! Feeling focused, you shrugged off the blow and readied your ultimate attack. Summoning the powers of ice, water, lightning, and earth, you unleashed into the intruders an elemental onslaught. Whatever, anyway. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe. And then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! It's a cooning friends alert! Mrs. Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! New inventory available at the Kane store. You'll be back. No time to waste, butthole. This way, butthole. Toward the bus stop. It's the quickest route.
confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, God damn it. So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. God, I feel like I've been waiting three years for this bus. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker! Good friend, deal with these assholes! Somebody wake me when it's my turn. Cartman's only working for himself, new kids. I am Wonder Tweak, champion of justice. What? That's gay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, I'm up? Okay. <laughs> Kite, you're fighting for the wrong side. This is my time. Today, you cross paths with the wrong immortal fourth grader. Yeah, I saw that coming. Car! Car! Come on, move! I have a thing to get to. Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Here I go. Make a fist punch. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. Ever get the feeling life is punishing you for being a dick, Tweak? No! <laughs> I will right wrongs and triumph over evil! And that means you! Wait, me? Huh, think of a warm breeze and a hot chick in a bikini.
you, kid? You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit, come on. Code, what happened? Timmy got away? He... He completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his... His mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Too early to start drinking yet? That's a rhetorical question. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. Cancel all my meetings today! Uh, you don't have any meetings today, ma'am. Excellent. Keep up the good work, Aid. What kid doesn't love a photo with the highest ranking official of their municipal government? <laughs> Very good. Now run along, little constituent. Why, yes, I love engaging in social media activities. It's so important. <laughs> Great, maybe I'll see this one on Let's the... take a picture, future voter. <laughs> on behalf of the entire mayor's office, thank you for your support. I'm the f f fastest kid in town. Better run fast. See you, new kid. Ew, hope that made you feel good. Hey. Ah, there you are, butthole. 
What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. Well, what girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes, my dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid. Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom. Stop, and... stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening mission. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay. Calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, Butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. Make with the superheroing, new kid. Chop, chop.